Before the main poem, uh, a quick 20-second warm-up by the same author. This is a Canadian writer, Michael Mondacci. This poem is called Application for a Driving License. Two birds loved in a flurry of red feathers like a burst cotton ball, continuing while I drove over them. I am a good driver, nothing shocks me. <laughs> so here's this poem to a sad daughter. Can you see this? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All night long, the hockey pictures gaze down at you, sleeping in your tracksuit. Belligerent goalies are your ideal. Threats of being traded, cuts and wounds, all this pleases you. Oh my God, you say at breakfast, reading the sports page over the Alpen as another player breaks his ankle or assaults the coach. When I thought of daughters, I wasn't expecting this, but I like this more. I like all your faults, even your purple moods, when you retreat from everyone to sit in bed under a quilt. And when I say like, I mean, of course, love, but that embarrasses you. You who feel superior to black and white movies, coaxed for hours to see Casablanca, though you were moved by the creature from the Black Lagoon. One day I'll come swimming beside your ship, or someone will, and if you hear the siren, listen to it. For if you close your ears, only nothing happens. You will never change. I, I don't care if you risk your life to angry goalies, creatures with webbed feet. You can enter their caves and castles, their glass laboratories. Just don't be fooled by anyone but yourself. This is the first lecture I've given you. You're a sweet 16, you said. I'd rather be your closest friend than your father. I'm not good at advice, you know that. But ride the ceremonies until they grow dark. Sometimes you're so busy discovering your friends, I ache with loss. But that is greed. And sometimes I've gone into my purple world and lost you. One afternoon, I stepped into your room. You were sitting at the desk where I now write this. For Scythia, outside the window, and sun spilled over you like a yellow miracle, as if another planet was coaxing you out of the house, all those possible worlds, and you, meanwhile, busy with mathematics. <laughs> I cannot look at For Scythia now without loss or joy for you. You step delicately into the wild world and your real prize will be the frantic search. Want everything. If you break, break going out, not in. How you live your life, I don't care, but I'll sell my arms for you, hold your secrets forever. If I speak of death, which you fear now greatly, it is without answers, except that each one we know is in our blood. Don't recall graves. Memory is permanent. Remember the afternoon's yellow suburban annunciation? Your goalie, in his frightening mask, dreams, perhaps, of gentleness. <laughs>